So I know I've done a lot of calculations on different superheroes based on the requests you guys leave for me in the comments of my other videos, but I want to do something a little different for this one and calculate something I've been wanting to know for a while now. Exactly how fast is Stan Lee's version of The Flash? Just a quick recap for those of you who maybe didn't know this was a thing. Back in the early 2000s, Stan Lee was approached by DC to recreate some of their classic superheroes like Batman, Superman, you know, the greats. And the results were pretty good. The stories definitely have that Silver Age level of cheese to them, like apparently every human bad guy has to have some weird alien name, but they're still really enjoyable. I might do a review on them sometime. But anyways, one of the heroes Stan Lee remade was The Flash. This version, named Mary Maxwell, was a young student who got super speed after her scientist dad injected her with hummingbird DNA. And holy sh Apparently hummingbirds make you the fastest thing alive because after getting super speed, Mary is able to tie up a whole bunch of guards in a half second, create tornadoes, fire an arrow at a target, and somehow run through a whole bunch of twists and turns to catch the arrow. Honestly, I have no idea how the f she was able to do that. And even join up with a bunch of other flashes from across the multiverse for an infinite mass punch. That was kind of cool. But anyways, she has a decent number of feats, so let's break them down and find out how fast this flash really is. So like always, we need to start things off with a base feat, and I think we can see a good one in how she was able to casually run on water especially while she's able to have a full conversation with her interviewer while running around the world, which I'll talk about again in a little bit. Now, if you've seen my How Fast Is Dash video, links on screen and in the description, you might remember this calculator we can use to calculate the speed needed to run on water. But before we can use it, we need to know a few things, like Mary's weight, her foot size, all that good stuff. According to the info in the back of this book, Mary weighs 120 pounds, or about 54 kilograms. The average shoe size for an American woman can reach up to a size 9, which means her foot area is most likely 209.55 square centimeters. Mary's also about average average height for a young woman, so I'd say she probably only has to push her legs about 0.15 meters into the water with every step. And obviously we can't tell how fast her feet are moving since, you know, this flash is just a picture, but since normal human sprinters can take up to 0.26 seconds to take a single step, I think it's fair to estimate that Mary's step time is more like 0.15 seconds. Plugging all those numbers into our calculator means that to run on water, Mary would have to have a forward velocity of 29.9 meters per second. That's about 66 miles per hour, or about 107 kilometers an hour. Moving up to the big JLA crossover with all of Stan Lee's DC characters up till that point, we also see what looks like Mary running fast enough to be in multiple places at once during a fight with Deathstroke, which you might recognize by its more traditional name, the Speed Mirage. It's an after image. A Speed Mirage, if you will. In order to create a speed mirage, Mary would have to be in two different places fast enough for the human eye to notice the differences in the frames per second. It looks like the furthest she's making a speed mirage in this panel is maybe a foot away from her starting position, that's about 0.3 meters, and assuming she has to be there and back 60 times a second in order to trick your brain into believing her speed mirage, Mary would be moving at a nice and easy 120 feet per second, or about 36 meters per second. That's about 81 miles per hour, or about 131 kilometers an hour. Keep in mind, this speed can actually decrease or increase depending on how far Mary's actually traveling in order to make a speed mirage. Skipping all the way back to when Mary first got her powers, we saw that she was able to immediately disarm the two thugs that killed her dad before running them into the street, all with them not having any clue what was going on. Now the average human reaction time to visual stimuli is 0.25 seconds, and since she was able to do all this stuff before these guys had any idea what was going on, it's obvious she was running faster than that. Just to stay on the safe side so I'm not overestimating this feat, I'm just going to say that she was able to beat these guys up and run them out to the streets in 0.24 seconds. Now we know the time she was able to do this feat, so all we need to do is figure out the distance she ran. You can see in the panel that the guys and their car really aren't all that far away from the house, so I'd estimate that Mary ran them maybe about 6 meters away, or 20 feet. Funny enough, the average single car driveway is about 20 feet long, so this is probably a decent estimate. Doubling that length to cover her back and forth travel distance, that gives us a total running distance of 40 feet, or about 12 meters. Plugging the numbers into the standard formula for velocity, V equals D over T, and doing the math means that Mary ran about 48 meters per second. That's about 107 miles per hour, or 172.8 kilometers an hour. Back when she was testing the limits for her powers, we saw that Mary was able to shatter the glass windows on a building just by running past it. Looking at the panel, it looks like she created a sonic boom while running that fast. And as we all know, sonic booms occur when something runs faster than the speed of sound, which is about 761 miles per hour, or 1,225 kilometers an hour. Then there's the fact that Mary was able to take on two different stealth goons at once while outspeeding their guns. Now we can't really figure out how fast she is compared to the guns in this panel because we don't know what guns the goons are using, but we can, however, quantify her statement in this panel where she states that she's faster than any bullet. Taking that at face value, some of the fastest bullets are fired by rifles at speeds of 4,000 feet per second. That's about 2,727 miles per hour or 4,389.12 kilometers an hour. Moving on to the secret files and origin story, we saw that Mary was able to run around the world in the amount of time it took her to do a short interview. Now we can't quantify the entire trip since it's impossible to tell where she is in certain panels like seriously where the hell is she here or here? The fuck is this limbo? That having been said, we 
we can quantify a decent sized stretch of it. Based on landmarks and a few of the panels, we see that Mary is able to go from sentence to sentence while running from China to Japan, then to Russia, then to Paris. First, let's figure out the distance. We can see in these panels that she's running the length of the Great Wall of China before she pops up in Japan. The air travel distance between China and Japan is about 1,892 miles or 3,045 kilometers, which means the land travel distance between the two would be about 2,175 miles or 3,501.75 kilometers. Adding in the length of the Great Wall, which according to a 2012 archaeological survey by China State Administration of Cultural Heritage is 13,170.69 miles long or 21,196.18 kilometers, that means Mary ran about 15,346 miles or 24,697.93 kilometers while running from China to Japan. In the next panel, we see that Mary took her interviewer to what looks like the St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow. The air travel distance from Japan to Moscow is about 4,567 miles or 7,350 kilometers. So that means that Mary ran an additional 5,252.14 miles or 8,452.5 kilometers. Then in the next panel, Mary managed to run from Moscow to the Eiffel Tower in Paris. This distance is pretty short compared to the other ones that Mary was running, only reaching about 1,791 miles or 2,883 kilometers. All in all, this makes her total running distance about 22,390 miles or 36,033.43 kilometers. Assuming it takes her a full minute to run this distance, which I'd say is pretty fair considering Mary went through her whole backstory and covered the events of the JLA crossover during the interview, then that means this flash ran at a speed of about 600,557 meters per second. That's about 1,343,407 miles per hour or about 2,162,005 kilometers an hour. For comparison, space shuttles typically launch at a speed of about 18,000 miles per hour or about 28,968 kilometers an hour. That means that Mary was able to run about 7 four times faster than a space shuttle. And finally, back during her training montage, Mary was able to run so fast that she was able to bump into herself from the past just as her past self started the run that she just finished. It's basically a full color illustration of that one Chuck Norris joke. Anyways, as stated by Mary, being able to run back in time like that means that she was able to run faster than light. And honestly, that's fair. I mean, it's generally accepted that if you travel faster than light, you'll end up traveling backwards in time. Now, because of the way the feats framed, seriously, who just suddenly remembers that they bumped into their past self? I have no idea how fast she was actually running, but what I do know is that she'd at least have to be able to run at the speed of light to pull this off, meaning that she was able to run at 299,792,458 meters per second, or 670,616,629.384 miles per hour, or 1,079,252,848.8 kilometers an hour. That's cool and all, but keep in mind, everything I've just calculated here is her natural speed, without any extra help the other flashes get by being connected to the speed force. I mean, nobody ever says she's connected to the speed force, so why should we assume that she is? Either way, this is pretty impressive, and I hope DC ends up doing more stories about Mary and her world's version of the Justice League. But anyways, that's how fast Stan Lee's version of The Flash is. If you guys like this video and you agreed with any of my calculations, or even if you didn't and you want to let me know that too, then go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And also, don't forget to keep leaving me suggestions for my 50,000 sub special. I'm inching up there, and I want to get that video ready. And with that, I will see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to click that like button, maybe leave me a comment while you're at it, and go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out any of my social media pages. I've got a Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. All those links are going to be in the description below. And I've also got my last video right there in the middle of your screen. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and click it, check it out. Alright, and I will see you all next time.